Jitsi Meet is an open source and secure video conferencing tool. In this tutorial, we are going to install a Jitsi Meet instance on AWS EC2. If you are looking for a white label Jitsi Meet setup with custom functionality, you can shoot an email to hello at matrix.io with your requirement. Before you begin, I would recommend to take a look at this blog post that I have put on the description to start with a better understanding. We need to make sure that we have opened these ports before we start installing Jitsi Meet. So the first thing that I'm going to do is creating a security group and open these ports as described in the blog post. First, I'm going to open UDP ports from 10,000 to 20,000. Then, UDP port 5222. Then we are going to open HTTP and HTTPS ports, respectively port 80 and port 443. We are going to open TCP port 4443 which helps Jitsi Meet to function properly in restricted firewalls. As the last step, I'm going to allow restricted access on port 22 for SSH. I'm going to add UDP ports from 10,000 to 20,000, which I have missed somehow, and going to create the security group. Next step is creating an instance. For this demo tutorial, I would choose an Ubuntu 16.04 instance. I'm going to use Tito Micro as the instant type and 20 GB of hard disk space. We are going to assign the security group that we have previously created in this step. Finally, I'm going to select my public key and hit launch button. I'm going to rename the instance in a way that I could easily identify it. And then I'm going to point a domain name to this instance. Since I have hosted my domain on Route 53, I'm going to use Route 53 dashboard. But you can use your own domain name providers dashboard for this. All you have to do is copying the public IP address of the instance from EC2 dashboard and creating an A record with it. I have used jitsimeettutorial.matrix.io as the domain name for the tutorial. Then I'm going to log into the instance using SSH. Since we are using an Ubuntu instance, the default username would be Ubuntu. I'm going to change the user to root by typing sudo su. First step is installing nginx. You can get all these commands from the blog post that I have put on the description.
Next, I'm going to add Jitsi meat sauce and verify it. I can do that by copy and pasting these commands. Next, I'm going to update the sources list. Now it's time to install Jitsi Meet by typing this command. In this prompt, I'm going to enter the domain name that I have pointed to this instance. Next, I'm going to select self-signed certificate option on the prompt. Since we are done with the installation, we can check on the browser whether the installation was successful. We are getting this warning because we are using self-signed certificates. To get rid of this warning, we are going to install Let's Encrypt free SSL certificates. Before we start installing SSL certificates, let's open the Jitsi Meet Nginx configuration file and do a small change there. You can find your configuration file under etc nginx sites enabled and it has the prefix of your domain name. We are going to remove the first line and save the file. Once you copy and paste these commands, it will automatically install certbot, verify the site and will install let's encrypt certificate for the domain name. I'm going to enter my email address here. I'm going to agree for the license and terms as usual. And then let's wait for the domain verification. Let's select our domain name from here. I want all my HTTP requests to be redirected to HTTPS. Now, if we check again, we can see our Jitsi Meet is ready. Meetrix provides Jitsi Meet installation, configuration, hosting, and customization services. If you are looking for a Jitsi Meet setup with user management, room management, and conference scheduling, please take a look at Meetrix Meet as well.